Governor O'Malley is certainly no stranger to us here on campus, but you may have known him as the previous mayor of Baltimore or perhaps when he received his bachelor's degree from the Catholic University or his law degree from the University of Maryland. He has an accomplished career in campaign and staff positions on Capitol Hill, has served as the Assistant State's Attorney for the City of Baltimore and on the Baltimore City Council prior to becoming mayor. Last year, Governor O'Malley was re-elected to his second term as chair of the Democratic Governors Association, and he serves as co-lead on Homeland Security for the National Governors Association Public Safety Task Force. He was appointed to the nation's first ever Council of Governors by President Obama in 2010. Governor O'Malley and his wife, Judge Katie O'Malley, as well as their four children, have been avid supporters of this institution. So it is a great personal honor for me to introduce a true friend of the Naval Academy, Governor Martin O'Malley. Vice Admiral Miller, thank you very, very much. The Secretary Mabus, distinguished guests, officers, midshipmen, alumni, fellow Marylanders, fellow Americans, graduates, and Mr. President. On behalf of the people of Maryland, I want to first convey our gratitude to all of the, gratitude, all of the graduates for your choice, for your vocation. And Mr. President, we are very proud here in Maryland to be able to say that, the, that Maryland is the home to the United States Naval Academy. And all of us in our state congratulate this class of 2013. To give our country the better future that our children and that our grandchildren deserve, we will need the strongest military in the world, and we will also need the world's most highly skilled, highly talented, and highly innovative workforce. Therefore, it is a humbling honor to stand before you to introduce the Commander-in-Chief of the United States of America. President Barack Obama is leading our country forward with strength and with vision. He is a thoughtful and a resolute leader who understands that America is strongest when her economic power, her diplomatic power, and her military power align with the power of our principles, the beliefs we share in freedom, in justice, and in the dignity of every human being. From his very first days in office, he has been committed to making sure that our Navy and our Marine Corps are the very best and the best equipped in the world. His commitment to you is absolute. He's making the right choices and investments to provide you with the equipment and the training you need to do your job and to defend our country. And he and the First Lady are also working hard every single day so that our country does better by you and your colleagues when you end your years of active duty and come home to assume that most important role in our republic, which is the role of citizen. Jobs, opportunity, and security have been the president's focus from day one. He has relentlessly pursued the war on terror, and under his leadership, our country has now been creating new jobs every month for 31 months in a row. Graduates, your 2013 commencement speaker is the strong and decisive leader who is moving America forward. Please welcome the 44th President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, midshipmen. Well, thank you, Governor O'Malley, for your kind introduction and, and the great support that Maryland gives this academy.